sounds good. All right, guys. So it is a little bit later in the morning. We had a good friend come over. There you go. That's a little bit better. Um, we had a good friend come over, our friend Mary Margaret. Um, it's always fun when she comes to visit. So, um, But she came over and we visited for a little bit. So now we're going to do our chores. Um, with the help of our animals. We're going to work on cleaning the garage today because we've got a lady friend, Ann Wyatt, coming this week for a little date. So we've got to get that garage cleaned up. Um, let me show you the mess that we're going to clean today. Ta-da! Um, so we just need to clean everything up a little bit. Um, organize it a lot and get it going. So, right. yeah, look at this man working. Yeah. Look at you doing some work for Thanks. once. Appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Anytime, baby. Like, I don't do any work. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to hit your toe. Yes, you did. I gotta go get the water hose because I'm gonna spray this out and then I'm gonna um, change the bedding. So, I'm gonna put all that old stuff in here for them. Okay. Because today is the only day off, so. Yeah. Well, I think I have tomorrow off, but I don't remember. One of the newer things I've been dealing with is just some digestive abnormal abnormalities. So, um, just trying to get used to that. Oh, I was like, what? Hi. Hi. I'm doing the deep clean. Beautiful. Sounds good. The dogs heard me. Ray, what are you doing in the garden? Come here. Come here, little one. Come in. Come on out. Ray, come on. Good girl. Do you belong in the garden, then? Nobody belongs in the garden. While I'm back here, I'm going to grab a flake of our alfalfa hay to feed to the rabbits. Now we're rocking and rolling. So. I'm going to split this flake between the two rabbit tractors um, so that they have something nice and nutritious to eat since the grass they are on is not super long and they go through it super quick. So, um, But I'm actually going to move them over to a new section because they've gone through the one they're on pretty quick. You good? You not good? No. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's all right. Habits are moved and taken care of. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Thank you, family. Some alfalfa. Okay. I love you. Do we need to go take a water break? Yeah, let's go take a water break. Had to come out for a minute. And what'd you find? You want to show, show everybody what you found? We wondered why our chickens kept getting out. Looky, looky. They made a nest underneath my falling over tomato plants. Mm -hmm. So we've got two eggs, which before we put them up, what we'll do is a float test. Um, so we'll put them in a glass of water. If they sink, then that means they're still good to eat. If they float, it means they're bad. So we'll do a float test before we put them up. Um, but yay! On our way out the door. Because we're, we're doing what? We're gonna go take some family pictures. Yeah. 
All right. I finally get to wear lipstick after like eight months of not. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, little one. Lipstick. I'll never know what that's like. Everybody. We're gonna we're gonna load everybody up. Load up. Come on. We're gonna load up, everybody up, up. up. This is uh. Now. This is harder than it looks. Nah. Oh. Just making sure you have five leashes. Yeah. Okay. If not, I think there's one in the truck. There's Okay. Are you ready, Miss Thing? Hmm. I hope so. <laughs> well, guys, we just got back in the car and are on our way home. <gasps> yeah, tell oh me how you God. really feel. <laughs> so embarrassed. So embarrassed. I think that having five crazy smart dogs can definitely be comparable to having five children. So we arrive at the park and it's super busy. There's lots of ducks. There's a fountain in the pond. There's dogs getting walked, people running, people on bikes, people playing baseball, people playing soccer, people playing tennis everything going on. We leash everybody up, we get out of the car, and everybody acts like they've never been walked on a leash in their life, ever. And everybody's pulling, not listening. Juniper, our deaf Aussie, you know, sees something and just starts barking at it. And I don't know if y'all have heard her bark, but it is super high pitched and like sounds demented because She's deaf and can't hear herself, so it does not sound like a normal dog bark. She just starts barking and won't stop. And we tell her, or you know, try to distract her from whatever she's focused on. Can you get down, please? Thank you. So it was a mess. And then Cassie brought her boyfriend, Zach, and so they start walking up and talking to us. And the boys are like, oh my God, who's trying to talk to our parents? We're gonna get you. <laughs> And it's like, I am so sorry, so sorry. Hopefully we got some good pictures. Probably not. Ray was a perfect angel, didn't do anything wrong. Sat pretty, was nice. So, the joys of having dogs. You know. Hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah. It's Piper, are you a perfect system? She says no, Mom, because I haven't come into heat yet. All right, made it home. I'm exhausted. Look at this sunset, though. It's gorgeous, y'all. Look at that sunset back there. So pretty. Oh, beautiful sunset. <laughs> All right, everybody. We are cleaning the garage tonight because we are bringing Wyatt home tomorrow for a week because we have a little miss Orion coming from a local breeder. Um, so 
So they're gonna have a nice little date slash honeymoon for a week here. Because we have two intact males in the house, we are going to keep Wyatt and little Miss Orion out here in the garage, just because it's a safe, neutral space. Uh, we can keep them completely separated and keep Miss Orion under watch 100% of the time. Um, so we're excited to have her here and a little nervous, um, but it'll be good. Hopefully, this induces Piper to go into heat. So, who knows? We'll see. If that happened, it'd be killing two birds with one stone, but probably won't happen. Because she's stubborn and she likes to take her time because she's a typical woman, you know. Oh, well, I know. <laughs> so, uh, after we're done out here, we're going to go inside and tape some puppy ears before dinner. And then we'll eat dinner and chill out and go to bed because Josh has to get up early to go pick up Wyatt. So. To end the video, we're going to show you something that we are going to do with our new puppy. Um, there's a couple terminologies here. Uh, some people say tape. We're going to be gluing. Doesn't matter. Um, but taping or gluing her ears. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this stuff here. Um, you can get it at Tractor Supply. And we're just going to basically weight down her ears so that way the muscles in her ears um, form the way that we want. So we get that wonderful little Aussie look. Um, some puppies are born with it, some are not. And we're just, this sounds really weird, but we are going for a certain type of look. Um, it doesn't hurt her. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't like, affect her in any way. It just makes her ears uh, really symmetrical. So if you're like an artistic person, it'll make you very happy. Are you ready? So first we are going to clean out her ears with just some simple hydrogen peroxide. Um, just make sure they're nice and clean. So if I get like, it everywhere. I know, I know. So we're just going to clean them out. Yes, good girl. Which is good because you want your dog to have clean ears anyways. All right. So then what we're going to do is, so this glue is great for um, attaching to any sort of fabric. So if it gets on our hands, we don't want to touch anything that's fabric. It helps if you take the seal off. It does help. All right, so what we're going to do is just mm. do on the outsides. So on her ear, we're just gonna go on the outside here and then on the inside so that there can be a little slit in the middle for air to get in and out. Um, so we're just gonna fold here, go on the outside and the inside and then fold where we want. So we're gonna make them nice and pretty and even. And then we're just gonna press it down for a minute and just rub and rub and rub and tell her she's being good and then it'll be good. So, all right, you ready? End result, you get your ears glued down and they're good to go. So, and we will reevaluate at three weeks. Um, so we'll take them apart and <clears throat> look at them and see if we need to do them again. So. Yep. And it's as simple as just washing it. So it's not like you know. Yep. It's not like it. It we have to tear them open or anything. We just it's wash it. It's not gonna rip. Yeah. Rip her ears off or anything. We're gonna end that video here. We hope you learned something. We hope you had a good time spending a little bit of the day with us. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.